everybody, it's Apex here with Wild Go Gang, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to quickly and efficiently set up your MetaMask so you can have a smooth mint. First thing you're gonna do is open up your internet browser, and next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and type MetaMask, right? So we're gonna click up here, download now, scroll down a little bit, pretty straightforward, or add to browser. Right, so now everything's installed, and we're gonna click get started. So if you have a previous wallet, which this isn't something we're gonna be dealing with now, but in the future, um, you will be able to import wallets in case you ever lose it. So if you ever remove this browser, or you uh, go on a new computer, you click importing uh, your wallet using a secret recovery phrase, which is what we're about to talk about now. Password is always wild goat, uh, no, goat gang forever, goat gang forever. Guys, don't use that as your password. Pretty easy to get hacked, but this is just a burner account, so I'm just doing it for the purpose of the tutorial. Cool little video, I recommend you watch it. It's a minute and a half, right? To keep your funds safe for the rest of your life, I think it's pretty important. Click next. You can reveal these words, but I'm only revealing it for the sake of the tutorial. When you're by yourself and you're setting this up, you wanna write down all these words on a piece of paper. Don't use notes on your phone, don't take a photo, because those things can get leaked, and if they get leaked, you can get hacked. Click next, um, I'm gonna go back. So basically, when it clicks next, it solidifies by making you drag them in the order that you saw them, but I can also go remind me later because the wallet's already created. And voila, we're in here. We'll notice already that we have a first wallet um, and we have Ethereum in there ready as a place order to be loaded up. First thing I'm gonna do is go in account details, rename that to um, main wallet. That's okay, main wallet. And the reason why I wanna show you guys this quickly is because if we're able to create multiple wallets, you not only allow yourself the capabilities to spread out where you hold your NFTs and your crypto, but you also allow yourself the ability to enter multiple whitelist spots simultaneously um, and it just gives you better control. I don't like having everything in one place, right? So we're gonna go here, create account. Um, could be an NFT vault, right? Which is where you store all your NFTs after you mint them. And then last but not least will be a minting wallet. And then you can also create whitelist wallet one, whitelist wallet two, etc. But the reason why I have it split up in this way, your main wallet is this one up here, is the one that holds all your funds. Um, the NFT wallet is where all the NFTs are stored. And then minting wallet is the wallet that holds a small amount of Ethereum that you use to interact with the minting pages to ensure that you actually get to mint, right? Let's talk about actually loading it up with Ethereum, right? So. In order to put Ethereum into your MetaMask, the easiest way is to purchase it off a major exchange such as Binance, Coinbase, and Kraken. I think Gemini is another one as well, but do your research. You're only a Google search away from all of this stuff. And what you wanna Google is major exchanges, right? Major crypto exchanges. You go in there, you verify your, um, your KYC, you use your credit card to buy some crypto, and then you wanna send that crypto, depending on the wallet that you wanna use, let's say we wanna send it to main wallet, you wanna go in here, click copy to clipboard and then paste that in the exchange website so that way you have a place to send your Ethereum to. If you have any questions about this stuff, feel free to post it in our Discord. Now, we have your MetaMask, you have loaded Ethereum loaded in there, you went on our minting website, you connected, you successfully minted your first NFT. Now, where are you gonna see it? Well, where you're gonna see your NFTs is on OpenSea.io. So what you're gonna do is go on the top right here, click profile, MetaMask, you're gonna connect, it asks you which wallet we want to connect. In this case, if we minted on the main wallet, that's where it will be, right? So we have a choice um, later on to move it, but originally we'll connect in here, click next, connect. You can then rename this again if you'd like, um, so people can see your page, one sec. Cool, so now what we'll see here is that we have no NFTs um, displayed because we obviously haven't minted anything, but this is where they will show up. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to throw them on our Discord and uh, see you guys in the moon.